Luol Deng's been running camps in the UK since 2005, and I attended one when I was 16. He always has the best coaches available to the players, but now it's more streamlined for the elite of the elite, based in Crystal Palace, the mecca of UK basketball. It's generally a hub for sport in South London. Athletes of all levels have access to these world-class facilities, which generally keeps the community involved. And inside the sports hall, a two-time NBA All-Star is giving out hands-on coaching. And it's not just reserved for the players either. With other pros in and around the camp, it's a good environment to be in as a young player. And these kids are fighting. Nobody wants to get left behind. With only 20 names being called for the All-Star game, we'll see who comes out on top. So I walk in and see Deng actually running the coaching session and all I can think is, damn, I wish I had this when I was their age. This impromptu session with the head physiotherapist revealed how much Deng enjoys teaching the game. So these top 50 players are very lucky. So the night before, the players had come in and played some games and got initially ranked. Then they had a coaching clinic in the morning, strength and conditioning. They had team practice, recovery sessions, and then there was just three quarts of five on five games for the rest of the day. There was a lot of basketball being played over the course of the day. So I'm just going to highlight a couple of the guys that grabbed my attention and really stood out to me. Entering the camp rank number one, Mate had just come off a summer with GB under 18 and the NBA Basketball Without Borders camp, but he didn't seem to skip a beat, commanding his teammates, letting them know where to be. He looked like a very good overall basketball player. Some of the guys were taking it a bit easy in the drills, but not these two. They were fighting. Very physical, aggressive, and I'm here for it. I didn't get enough clips of him playing, but just trust me when I say he was giving out work in the low post. He's seven foot, he can shoot the ball, handle it, and work in the low post. He's the modern day big man. Defense, Louis is a tenacious defender. I could see it from the very first drill. And although he was the shortest player at the camp, his athleticism, strength, and overall grit more than makes up for it. But don't get it twisted, he can get it done on the offensive end too. Niall's one of those high IQ guys that really understands the game very composed, very skilled, and looked very comfortable whilst playing, to be honest. The final game of the day had an exciting finish. <laughs> London's a city where if you don't make yourself seen, you'll just fade into the background. The campus had another opportunity to make a name for themselves because three on three started today. You could tell that the coaches were starting to get competitive too because every other team had gone to lunch except for this team. They all thought they were done, they thought they'd come in for the team huddle, but the coach kept them back for an extra 20 minutes. Hazan had even taken off his shoes. My favourite aspect of the camp is the fact that there are little kids on the court out there shooting with the campers, the coaches and the pros about. Who knows where they'll be in the next few years. The 5 on 5 continued after lunch and you could tell that the guys were tired but you could also see they were thinking about getting in that top 20 because that means they get to play in the All-Star. I didn't notice Ade the day before but today he was doing everything. Help side defence, scoring, passing, he did it all. Another guy who represented GB under 18s at the Euros this summer. Tommy was quality really came through today. He was hitting shot after shot and was playing very solid basketball. I'd seen Aaron play for London Lions against Leangelo and Lamello Ball, and his first play was a two hand dunk down the baseline, and he didn't bat an eyelid, so you can tell that he's a humble hooper. LJ is a really good athlete and he seemed to be a very good teammate, which stood out to me. 
I was excited to see a matchup between the UK Zion Williamson and the Unicorn, but my phone died, so I didn't get enough footage. Nia was still doing his thing, didn't really look phased by any defenders that were in front of him. And there was another tie game at the end of this day too. Practices and games, it's time to find out who made the cut. Number 17, Aaron Badibo. Number 10, Callum Lowe. Number 7, Noel Harris. Number 6, Jonathan Brown. Number 5, Annie Annie Number 4, Theo Hughes. Everybody heard the name called, but the show must go on. celebration of everybody's hard work. With the game done, all that's left is the end of camp awards. All information at www.dengcamp.com. Thank you very much ladies and gentlemen. If you like this video, just give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and of course, follow us on all of our social media platforms. Until next time, stay blessed. <laughs>